Hi everybody, so welcome to today's video. So today I am doing a Black Sabbath Rock and Roll haul. So we have three new Black Sabbath t-shirts in, which are honestly, they are all gorgeous. And what I thought I would do is research a bit more into the history of the t-shirt and then let you guys know all about it. And I must say, it was one of the most interesting ones that I found out for a while. I don't really know much about Black Sabbath as a band. I listen to their music and I love their music. And obviously I sort of know who's part of the band, but I didn't really know so much about their history I just sort of listened to their music and really enjoyed it but didn't know too much so as I've gone and researched more into these t-shirts I've learned a lot about Black Sabbath and really sort of opened my eyes to sort of Black Sabbath so it is really interesting so if you guys want to find out more about Black Sabbath then keep on watching and I'm just gonna dive on straight into the first t-shirt so the first one that we've got is uh, this tee here it is never say die and this is the original, the, the image that's on the t-shirt has got, is the original album tee cover, which I really like. I think it's very nice and I like the sort of distressed look. And then obviously it's just a raglan baseball tee, but it's short sleeve as opposed to long sleeve, which I really like, like the one I'm wearing today. I do really like the sort of short sleeve on them. And yeah, so I'll tell you more about the history and then I will let you see the t-shirt again and tell you a bit more information on the t-shirt. So, the Never Say Die Studio album was released on the 28th of September, 1978. It was the final al album that Osborne ever did vocals on. In an effort to be progressive and innovative, they brought in horns, piano and clean guitars to try and change up their sound. Because music was changing a lot in the 70s, there was new artists and the band really needed to keep up with it. So they sort of added all these new things into their music to try and get them to become sort of in tune and intact. Osborne actually quit the band halfway through the recording of the album. After not hearing from him, the band actually decided to hire Dave Walker, who was the ex-vocalist for Fleetwood Mac and Savoy Brown, to sing and write on the album because they didn't know when Ozzy Osbourne was going to come back and they didn't want to let their fans down, so they took the decision to hire Danny Walker from Fleetwood Mac to go on and write and sing for them. But in the end, Osbourne did rejoin and again, he decided to record the rest of the album, but he did, however, refuse to sing any songs that Danny Walker had, had wrote and wanted to start again. But with the album being so far behind, as the band had to take another three months out of recording, as Ozzy Osbourne was grieving the loss of his father, they needed to crack on with it, and their drummer, Billy, Wa Billy Ward, actually ended up on lead vocals of one of their songs, because although they did feel sorry for Ozzy Osbourne, they had to crack on with the album. The album itself doesn't receive very good criticism and that it lacks compassion and aggression. Billy Ward defended the album saying it was adventurous forces into jazz. The album itself went to gold in November 1997, so that was 13 years after it was actually recorded. Um, but it was, uh, it was one of the less successful albums and of course it was the last one for the Ozzy Osbourne era of Black Sabbath. So that album has definitely got something which is really important to Black Sabbath fans. That was the last ever studio album that Ozzy Osbourne recorded with the original Black Sabbath. And I like the album myself. It's not one of my favourites. It does lack something. And for me, when I listen to it, it does feel a little bit rushed. But that's okay. Like, it's alright. And it is a good album. But I love the t-shirt that we have with it. So like I said, this is a tee that we have. It is the Raglan baseball tee with sort of the original Original cover on it. I absolutely love this. I love the cover and I love the way how it's all distressed as well. I will pop all the link of all the t-shirts that I've mentioned in the description below so go and check them out and let me know which one is your favourite. Moving on to t-shirt 2. T-shirt 2 is the Black Sabbath The End which is this one here. Now you guys, if you are a Black Sabbath fan, will probably have seen this graphic all over the place because it is the Black Sabbath The End. And um, The End was basically a tour which the Black Sabbath did before they broke up, which obviously I will go into more detail about. But I really like this t-shirt and I really like the end graphic. It is everywhere with Black Sabbath and I really do love it and I think it's so nice on a t-shirt. <laughs> the End Tour was the farewell tour for heavy metal band Black Sabbath. Featuring founding, member, founding members Ozzy Osbourne, 
Tony Lomi and Giza Butler. The tour concluded 40 years of them being together. So that was an legendary tour. That was a long, long time for them to be together. 40 years. The final show was on the 4th of February and ended in the band's home time, Birmingham. The last ever show that Black Sabbath did was streamed live on Facebook with Ozzy Osbourne admitting it was their final good goodbye despite their farewell tour in 1992 final solo tour. Of course, if you are a massive, Oz uh, a massive Black Sabbath fan or Ozzy Osbourne fan as I was going to say, don't fear, you probably already know this, but in case you don't, I'm here to fill you with lots of news. Black Sabbath are actually um, streaming their last tour, so they are showing their last tour that they did, the um, the end, in Birmingham, live on television, uh, live on the cinema next week. You can go and buy tickets, and yeah, it is for one night only on the 28th of September, so go and check that out, and if you do go to it, let me know what you thought of it, because I'm really, really jealous. I really want to go and watch it. It looks amazing. But this is a t-shirt and like I said I love it, I love the colours on it and it is definitely a t-shirt that every Black Sabbath fan has to have. It was the, it is the end of an era for Black Sabbath, you know, they have ended, they are no longer, they have been together for 40 years. So this t-shirt is just such a good way to commend sort of their 40 years together and I love the graphic on it as well. Again I will link it in the description below so you can go and check it out. Finally, the last t-shirt that we have is another Black Sabbath live on tour, Never Say Die. So we have the Never Say Die album t-shirt. This is the Never Say Die live on tour tee. I really like this one as well. I like the graphic. It is the same sort of graphic that was on the um, other t-shirt, but it's in black and white. And I really, really dig black and white, especially as a graphic. I love this one so much. Now, obviously, I have gone through all about the Never Let Die, so I haven't got that much information on it. But I did manage to find some stuff about the tour, and I did actually find some gossip as well, so I'm going to share that all with you. So, the tour followed the album, and it began in May 1978 in Sheffield, and was the, the, the last full tour with Ozzy Osbourne on it, um, until Ozzy Fest in 1997. It was the first concert in which the band realised that they needed to change their own sound as people like Van Halen and Van Halen's guitar sound and all the other sort of rock bands that were occurring in the 1970s slash 80s were becoming a lot more popular because they were staying on track with the sound and it was something that Black, Black Sabbath didn't have to offer so they really started to realise that they needed to change their sound. But Ozzy Osbourne actually missed some of the tour after passing out in the wrong hotel room. So basically they stayed at one hotel somewhere else which was identical to the one that they'd already stayed in. And the, the key that he, Ozzy Osbourne already had was for the other room. But he thought he was in that room so he actually ended up passing out at 4 o'clock in the afternoon and didn't get up till 6 o'clock the following morning. And he missed the whole show that he was supposed to do. But he did make it up to fans however going back and ending the tour where they first started it to sort of make up for not being there at the show. But yeah, so there you go, there's a bit of Ozzy Osbourne gossip for you all. And like I said, the t-shirt, I just, I love this t-shirt so much. I love the black and whiteness on it and it is live on tour, so it is a tour tee. Definitely one to remember as it was, you know, the final album that they ever did together, the last show that Ozzy Osbourne was ever part of and Ozzy Osbourne does make Black Sabbath. So I definitely love this t-shirt and again, I will link it down. That's all about Black Sabbath t-shirts. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below which one was your favourite and let me know if you're going to see Black Sabbath at the cinema. If you do go and see it, please, please, please let me know how it was because I'm really jealous and I really want to go myself so let me know thank you guys so much for watching don't forget we have got a Star Wars uh, giveaway going on on our channel where you can win one of the progs tees which I know some of you are very excited about so I will link all that down below don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and we'll see you next time All Star Heroes of TV All Star Heroes of TV All Stars, Heroes of the